everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Malaise Gaming as we play through more time, City of the Damned. So I wanted to just pull up this screen real quick so we could kind of go over the stats for Ultimatum, our uh, Warband, as it's been progressing. So we've attempted 10 missions and we have a 90% win rate, which is not bad. Actually, it's really good but it's still quite early and we lost our main leader in that time so that 90% win rate has to be taken with a grain of salt and it kind of just proves that numbers on paper don't mean everything. And another interesting statistic is the ratio of enemies knocked out of action compared to our allies taken out of action. Right now we're at about 640% which is not too bad I guess so we will go ahead and continue. So if we pull up the campaign map, I think we're just about ready to do River Rats, the first Act 1-1 mission. But I know that these missions, the story missions, can take quite a while. So I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, I think next episode. I'm going to spend this episode, continue to build my forces, my money, and everything. Make sure that I'm strong enough, and then I'm going to go to the next mission. I found that rushing into things has only proven to be disastrous. Enemy warriors have been spotted all over the area in small groups as if they were scattered by something. You stage your warband near your wagon, ready to take advantage of the enemy's misfortune. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be in one group and they'll be scattered, hopefully, around. But judging by the names of the people I have to put out of action, they might be undead. A new round has started. Alright, so I start over here. I need to get Ward Stone if possible, because that converts straight into money. And they are the Bloody Fists, and I think they're undead. So they're going to be heading... They're scattered around, apparently. Alright, you can just basically stay where you're at. I don't want you going anywhere until the warriors can spread out. Alright, the enemy is collecting ward stones, which is fine. I mean, it, it means that they're just bringing them to me. The Empire, or at least the way that Ultimatum, my warband is playing, is very defensive. I move very slowly, and I try to provide overwatch and things like that, just because I've pretty much been scarred by my experiences so far in more time with previous warbands. Every single time you think something is going well, either the mission, even the game, you think the game's going well, boom, your leader's dead. No chance of recovery. How you feel now? Oh, I feel like quitting, <laughs> honestly, but I don't. For some reason, it kind of draws you in, so some something it's hard to put words on, but that's okay. All right, so all this word stone is here to the side. Enemy's going to be approaching. I mean, it says they're scattered. Um don't necessarily... I think we'll be fine here. I'll put him in ambush. Alright, Vin. You're gonna be one of the first guys to lead the charge, so get over here where this thing is. This cart. Alright, archers. Alright, so, uh, Holzir here used to be a marksman, but now that he's ranked 3 and he has additional combat points to fire with, I feel it's only correct that we, uh, go ahead and promote him. So he's now Hunter Holzer. Alright, Guardian Dieter. You are gonna move in this direction, and we're gonna not necessarily leave you behind, but you're gonna f form the rear guard. And we're going to also have someone with you. I want to make a small... I want to break this team into small groups, basically. So I'm going to have everyone move, but if we need to, you know, break off and respond, then I'll have two or three dedicated troops. I'll have a gunner, a two-handed... that new two-handed mercenary guy that I have, and uh, a man with a shield. 
and so we'll have someone to block and intercept the incoming attack, we'll have someone to help deal damage, and then we'll have a gunner that can provide consistent damage or um, provide damage while they retreat. Alright, so we're still considering, I just need to run as fast as I can towards this side, just to kind of get some cover. And I don't see any enemies, so we're going to ambush them. I'm not sure if this turn game I'm going to be able to get up into higher elevation. I may end up having to fire on the enemy from the same level they are. And they're still collecting uh, word stones. Which means that they're most likely either went south or west or again they might be all spread out too. Alright, Archer, stay in between the warriors, but head in this direction. Overwatch stance is fine. Alright, so Marksman Meyer is still only rank 2, so he's considered a marksman. Alright, let's see, two more enemies and then I get to go. The enemy is still looting wordstones. don't see a climb up point or a drop down point there, so if the enemy does go up there, they may be able to shoot me. But they won't be able to drop down, which is nice. Alright, so Guardian Gurno here is going to be an ambush character with that two-handed sword. He's going to be an assistant. He's going to help to destroy targets that are already engaged by someone else, and he has heavy armor just in case he does hit. hit. But he's definitely a new not there round has started. to just take shots. That's definitely a nice job. Alright, uh, Christianer Colonel, run as far as you can in this direction, stay behind the walls. I still don't have his offensive spells yet, he doesn't have a new spell slot. But he does get some really interesting spells in the future that we might be able to look at, but until he gets some more spell slots and skill slots and stuff, he's just going to kind of be like a defensive bow character. I like to keep the shield on him when I'm running around just in case he gets ambushed by some random character I can't see. Don't want him to get killed. Alright, let's see here. I have to say though, I think part of the reason that it's so intoxicating, the game, is because of that risk and that fear. You know, like you actually feel like every decision you make really truly matters because you know what happens, you know, if you make a mistake. So we're gonna switch Malays over to his pistols and put him in overwatch. Alright, Vin. Keep heading. Well, there's green crystals over here, isn't there? Sure is. They're just small little things. Oh, that new armor buff that Vin got. Look at how much further he can travel than before. That's that's much nicer. And I'm walking to traps. Yay. Alright, we'll keep him over here. Uh, I just hadn't considered that, yeah, maybe the enemy will pop up over that hill. Won't see him until it's too late. Alright, Hunter Holzer, come over here. I'm going to an Overwatch stance here in this little nook, so if they run by, you'll get a shot on them. I'd like to get up on that wall there, but I think I need to get all the way around to do that. Alright, Guardian Girtho. We switched out your spear for a sword, so you can now use parry stance, which should be much more effective than dodge stance with the heavy armor and shield and helmet you have. Alright, what else we got going on? Shield. Alright, so Guardian Deed are here. Yeah, see, comparing that to how far uh, Vin Solanas can travel, it's pretty, pretty astounding difference that that one skill makes. So let's see what happens now. Alright, so... Definitely want to go this way.
Without blocking our ally, we're gonna get in a similar position. You want to overwatch, so one on one side of the wall, one on the other, and hopefully they can both fire if someone does run around that corner. The secondary objective in this mission is to kill two enemies and pick up their charm. So it kind of just depends on where the enemies are. If they engage me in battle, I can probably try to kill them, but if it's like an archer that I can't get to, or if it's someone that's on the opposite edge of the map and I can't get to them, then it's going to be much more difficult to complete the secondary objective. Okay, so guarding Gurno. You are damage potential, so just get as close as you can to the cluster of enemies. Or cluster of allies. I don't want him to get shot. He's very vulnerable. Even though he's wearing heavy armor and a shield, I mean heavy armor and a helmet, he's very vulnerable a new round has started. to like enemy ranged attackers since he's so slow and cumbersome. We still have not spotted a single enemy. Alright, switch your weapons. Alright, and then come out here. Get in this little corner here. What oh, can you cross? Oh, I see an enemy. Well, good, goody, goody. You turn here and go in ambush dance. Or overwatch. It's about to get exciting. Ben Solanus, you get over here. Where's that enemy? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Um, ambush. Get as close to this wall as I can. Alright, so yeah, if anyone goes anywhere across that street, you can get him. Alright, Blade Master Malaise. This is where it gets exciting. Because Overwatch is three points. So I think I can put you up on top. Oh, no, maybe not. I'll put you against these this wall. Overwatch if anyone comes this way. And he should intercept him if he tries to charge. Hopefully. Alright, unknown enemy. Alright, Hunter. I should have the opportunity to actually shoot this guy a couple times. Because this gun has really long range. Get through here. Really? 86%. Okay. Oh! Ouch! And turn. Guardian Dieter. Get over here in the back. Ambush stance. They should not be able to sneak past. Ambush. Overwatch. Oh, 80. Jeez. Oh, it's brutal. Okay, so at least one of them hits you. Can I get the uh, ambush off? Oh, okay. Well, you're going to get shot multiple times at pretty much point blank range now. Oh, nice. Not nice. Alright, where are you at? Right, so I don't see any minis from approaching from this side, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. So, um... Yeah, you hang out here in ambush stance to prevent anyone from flanking. Reload. 61. How about 81? No, I want to move you because he can't jump down there. There's no drop down point. He's just basically wasting his time. I used a lot of that reload though. Oh, okay. 84%. Yes, please. Because he's not actually engaged. Thank you. Nice. Alright, end your turn. Now, three enemies get to go. None of which are spotted yet, at least. And then they're Empire just like we are, so... That guy's in big trouble though, since he's not engaged, my archers can all fire with a really good chance of hitting him. The 
We've got four archers right there because of Malay's switching to his guns. And he's still not engaged. He's not even fighting anyone yet. He's standing there trying to ambush. So as long as I don't move and just stand and fire, he's in big trouble. And I think he's too close to charge. And as soon as he takes a step forward, Vin Solanas is going to ambush him. So let's see. Pop out over here. Do you see anybody? No. Okay, we'll run back then. And I'm going to keep him here in ambush stance just in case. Unseen enemy gets to go. A new round has started. Alright, what does the enemy get to do? Ooh, he has an arrow in his eye. Wow, the fact that he is still fighting, that is impressive. Alright, so this is the start of a new turn and everyone's gonna get to fight, so this is a great chance for me to use this blinding effect and just hit him. Should reduce his chance to dodge and carry all that by 5%. Alright, now shoot him. Can you not see him? Alright, we'll go over here then. 82%, yes please. Not a lot, but you know what? You can reload still. And then do enter. And you can literally go into ambush stance, so if he decides to keep running forward. Alright, unseen enemy. Reload malaise. Eighty percent. Thirty-nine, good hit. Alright, I can reload, but I'm gonna put you back over here and then reload. And then end our turn. Alright, two unseen enemies. Alright, one more enemy and then I get to go two more times. Mr. Hunter. Look at that. 86%. Nice shot. And I think I can, rather than retreating with you, I want to get you just outside his. Oh, jeez. Oh, phew. Okay. And I don't want to flee, so I'll end my turn. Guardian. Berthold. Pop around this corner. Do you see anyone? No. Alright, well then head back this way. I'm going in, but... Ah! That was a... Alright, see so Guardian Dieter here. Uh, is that the enemy hero right there? Yes, I think it is. So I've got... Yeah, I'm gonna need you to come over here on this side. And go in an ambush stance. So if the enemy tries to get by with that hero on the left. Martin Witten, what are you doing? What? I guess there is a jump down point there. Darn it. Ambush? Yeah! Alright, alright. Great job. Do you get to return the favor? Yes, you do. <laughs> nice job, Mr. Vin Solanas. Alright, reload. Go ahead and aim. 74% chance this guy dies. And it happened. End your turn. Alright, now two unseen enemy gets to go, but Vin did his job and intercepted that gentleman as soon as he jumped down. Which is perfect. Alright, Guardian Journo. 
If you were to charge, for example, you have a 72% chance to cause huge damage. Try it. 51. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, can you end your A new round has started. Alright, so there's still multiple enemies that I have not seen yet. And then the enemy hero leader character. Oh, there we go. Look where they are. Right where my way used to be. But you know what? I got something nice. Because I believe that I can shoot you, yes. But I also believe that I can shoot But I can go into Overwatch Chance and shoot them when they come in. Vin, go ahead and stab her. Nice. Doesn't do a lot, but doesn't have to when they're that low on health. Beating him down, Vin. Beating him down. Harry Stent. And he's completely surrounded, I believe. Alright, unseen enemy, and then my hero, Mr. Malaise. Alright, Malaise, where are you? Ah, oh, perfect. You are gonna run over here and get next to your wizard, and you are gonna go into Overwatch. And you're both gonna shoot that character, their priest, as soon as he comes around the corner. Alright, unseen enemy, and then my archer. Alright, uh, reload. So the next character to move is this hero. Let's see. 82%, but I don't want him to ambush or charge me. So we're gonna put him way back here in Overwatch, and we should be able to shoot him before he gets ambushed, or before he can charge as well. So we'll put it at the very back. And let's see what happened. Overwatch. Oh. And then charge. Oh, he snuck by. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, come on. Kind of. Oh, that's the enemy. Ulf von Mortberg, I need to kill him for the uh, mission. Alright, so they want to both pounce Bastion, Bastion Vin Solanus, huh? Both want to double team him. Oh, are those enemies? Or are those my characters? No, those are mine. Get over here. Get behind their hero. So, so. Nice. Parry stand. Nice dodge. Uh, can you switch weapons? Come on, Bertold. Um, Alright, well then come over here. And you can't shoot or do anything. That was dumb. Alright, we'll switch your weapons back then. weapons back and just get here just stop them from getting by reload so if I put you here can you aim 70 74 percent for the kill nice and turn All right, two unseen enemies now, Vin Solanus, you should be able to disengage because the target that was fighting you is dead. And if I can break him away from combat, then he'll be okay. Alright, Guardian Journo, can you charge? Can you charge? 67, works for me. Nice hit. And no, 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 no. Just end your turn. Do not A new me. round has started. Alright, here comes the enemy. Uh, 
Really? Oh, he gets three of them. Blinding light. They all resisted them. Lightning strike. Failed. You're pretty bad at this, dude. Alright, reload. He's not engaged, is he? I think that's amazing. 81%. Uh, that's a 48er. No, aim it. 68%, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of damage. Reload. And then fire on the other one, 80%. <laughs> Oh jeez, maybe aim it a little bit next time. Gosh, okay, and turn. All right, another unseen enemy coming. Although to be fair, he doesn't have any ballistic skill, so cut him some slack, right? Vin, you have a pretty good chance of killing him, but you also have a good chance of dying, and it makes it not worth it. Disengage, my good friend. And GT... Oh no, 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 you almost ran straight into that. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. Just get back here and end your stance. End your turn. Alright, so the enemy gets to go, I, my leader gets to go, and then their leader gets to go. And I think Malise has his pistols out right now, I believe. Yes. So reload. 31%, but... He's almost dead, he's engaging two enemies. This gentleman, on the other hand, 64%. What about over here? 79, I like the odds. Oh, 54 damage. Those pistols hurt so bad. And turn. He failed his all alone check. Ooh, two handed sword to the face. One handed sword to the face. Oh, he gets to run away. Where are you going to run to? I think you're still within gun range of my hunter. Oh, hunter holes are... Do you even have to move? You can just... 87... But he has 1 HP. Bye. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, I need to get that insignia from him, though. Alright, who's this? Oh, you got full health. You need to remain with that shield. Okay, well, you're not gonna be able to... Oh, I take it back. Fragment. Yes, please. Not bad. Ambush stance. Alright, Guardian Dieter, you're full health too, so you're gonna remain with your shield. Um, Vaughn, Mortbig, we need that, and the Fragment, we need that. Look at all the stuff. How did you have that much stuff on you? I'm jealous. And take the sword, too. Alright. Objective complete. Objectives. Alright, you can still move a little bit. Wow, Guardian Dieter, you got a lot of movement range, bud. Uh, and now I need Erwin Van Gersler. And when I ran over there, I saw everybody. Alright, so that's Martin, that's Ulrich, there's Tyrandale, there's Maro. So I haven't seen that person yet. Or are they way over there? That's Herman Gruber. So I haven't even seen Erwin. Alright, so I've got an ambush stance there. I'll ambush stance you as well. Alright, Markson and Meyer. 83% put a shot into him. Oh, God, I know, that, that's gotta be... T took it like a champ, though, I mean, you're literally up against a wall like a firing squad as we turn and just dump shell after shell after shell straight into your chest with no armor of any kind. And you just grunt and stand there, it's amazing. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's having profound long-term effects on you, and it's probably gonna result in your death extremely shortly. But, you know, for the meantime, I must say, outstanding performance, or outstanding. Now let's see how well it holds up to a two-handed sword charge. Oh, did I see 86%? Bye. Gosh, Guardian Journo, you, you're a terrifying, terrifying man. Uh, a Wardstone shard? Yes, please. Alright. And we can go 
doing a dodge stance. Should have gone in parry stance to be honest, but oh well. A new round has started. Load. All right, uh, go ahead and. Well, I guess you can just keep your bow out. So where are those enemies that were spotted? Down there. Alright, so uh, go overwatch. Oh, and they lost. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so that was not bad. We got some good rewards. Guardian Journo. 224 points for getting Ward Stone for doing huge amounts of damage and knocking an enemy out. Yeah, Guardian Jerno with the two-handed sword. Vanquishing the foe upon Good the gosh. field of battle is a great feeling. It is even better when you're getting paid for it. I do have to say though, although he did really well, I'm glad that I have most of my team in heavy armor and shields. The consistency is... I like that. Yeah. Outstanding. Alright, Marksman Myers. Um, Marks from Meyer, I should say. You've been promoted. So we're gonna change your Fantastic. Name. Guardian Berthold also promoted to level three. Yay, we got twenty-three gold. Not enough to cover our expenses, but then again we are getting crystals that we can sell. 28 to spend there. So we've got 52 crystals saved already, which is probably a third of the next shipment. Alright, let's spend our skill points real quick. Malays did not get any. Guardian Journal, you did amazing last time. Great job. Go for toughness, bud. Alright, for Bastion, you are going to go for Intelligent. Marksman Meyer, you are going to go for um, Intelligent and ballistic skill and we're also going to go to customize and edit your name okay, now hunter meyer um, sorry let's see inquisitor ingram you get to point in accuracy which increases your crit chance i think that'll help once you get um, spells uh, deater weapon skill I think that's everybody. Oh, it's not. Uh, Berthold, leadership, actually no, alertness, and weapon skill. Ah, that's everybody. Alright, no injury. Go to the next day. Ready to go. Still have no thing. If I was to sell, let's see if I was Sig Sigmar's Haven. I was to sell every crystal I had right now, or all the words done I should say, before the next mission started, I would get 312 gold. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Alright, a shipment will arrive in two days, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna spend 100 gold, and I'm gonna spend it on... Does Vin already have a skill? He does not. I'm going to get Knowledge of Tactics. It increases his dodge and parry chance by 5%. Alright. And with that, we're going to go to next day. He has learned a skill, Tactics. So he'll have a bonus. So now he's got like a 47% chance to parry, I think. Uh, Bastion Vincelanus. Parries 52% without even being in parry stance. That's amazing. So I really like that. Uh, and then didn't we get one of our henchmen to level 3? Oh yes, you're Hunter Meyer. Guardian Berthold. So you've been promoted. So we need to do something to you as well, level 3. Um. Ah. You are now a knight. You're a knight Berthold. Alright, let's go back to the campaign map and see if we can get anything here. We got Deadly, 
700 hard and hard. Send out a scap. Hard. So we'll go to the next mission the next day. New hired swords are available. Alright, so we got our shipment with 359 gold in it, which is awesome. Go to the campaign map. Brutal, hard, normal. Alright. Go to the next day. I want to do a normal mission. I don't New want to do a hard one. Request arrived. All right, now we're on the time clutch. Ten days to get 158. Hmm. Okay. So hard crush their will. Hard rivals in the ruins. I guess we're gonna do river rats because that one's actually the easiest one we have a chance to do, and we keep getting hard missions. So we're gonna go ahead and launch. This barge will bring us to the docks. The Keyside is in the possession of the Ratkin. If we are to use this area to speed transport of Wordstone to the Baron, the vermin must be exterminated. Only when the last of their foul breed has been driven from the area can we safely begin to use these docks. This will be no easy task. There is no surprising the Ratmen. Their eyes and ears are everywhere. They will be waiting for us to strike. They will have planned their ambush and laid their traps well. You must be cautious as you make your attack, but do not allow caution to make you timid. If we are to have any chance of success, speed is of the essence. The Skaven are a fractious breed, but they will rally together to destroy a common foe. Reinforcements will come swarming up from the burrows of the Ratkin if they think the Keyside will be lost to them. The sewers leading to their burrows must be sealed or there will be no victory for us here. A band of dwarf treasure hunters failed where we hope to succeed. Fortunately, they left behind a store of blasting powder in great ironwood barrels. Find these barrels and set them at each sewer junction. We can use them to seal the openings and cut off the ratmen from their reinforcements. This must be done if we are to carry the day and make use of the keyside. All right. A new round has started. Okay, so story missions, we cannot win by making the enemy run, run away from loss of morale. And we don't get to keep any items if we fail the mission. And the enemy will continuously get reinforcements constantly until we do win or lose. <coughs> so, any damage we take will really start to build up over time. Alright, first thing you want to do is switch weapon here, bud. Uh, Mr. Inquisitor Ingram. Start shooting that stupid rat right in the face. Go aim. Nice. Reload. Should be able to fire just a normal shot. 58%. Oh, good hit. And then end your turn. Alright, now the enemy's gonna go twice. It's crazy they do. Oh, he actually took damage. That's surprising. running past my archers oh my gosh Counter and he stunned him great job great job guardian Dieter teach him a lesson but why are they both targeting him gosh we have to keep him back now already all right this is one of the shaman characters and man brutal and the wither spell reduces the stats. Alright. Keep Luther alive, locate the dwarven blasting powder, and then explore the sewer's depth. Alright, I want to get up top there. Charge. Oh wow. Yeah, go for it. 51. Can you finish him off? No. Um, and then go parry stance, I guess. That enemy gets to go. Another one of those rats. Gosh, there's a huge group of them. I'm hoping that after I finish this group of rats off, I'll be able to have some type of leeway to kind of catch my breath. I mean, my whole force is here, but jeez. And I need to find the Dwarven Blasting Powder as well. 
Luther, huh? Hold your ground. Let's see what do you got? Hold your ground. Regroups all the warriors. Oh, sorry. Increases dodge and parry chance by five percent to all allies, allies within a five meter radius. Order immediately gain a free attack against a random valid. Wow. Okay. Um. Backpack now. I don't have any spells. Passive skills. Hmm. So he's pretty tough against Ward Zone. That takes a lot of right. Ambush stance, dodge stance, parry stance, switch weapons. What's your other weapon? Ah, okay. 75%. Please do. Oh, yes. Reload. And you have three more points. Can you put another shot into that one? 77%. Oh my goodness gracious. Luther. Luther, holy. Holy crap, Luther. Um, Vin. Get over here and engage this stupid thing. And then hit him with your, um... Yeah, hit him with Crusader's Curse. If his strike hit lands, he will not be able to change weapons. And it landed. Perfect. So he can't change weapons, which means he should not even be able to attack. He can use Wither, maybe. Um, change weapons, bud. No, no, no. Switch weapons. There we go. And can you fire on him? 78%. Oh, beautiful. And your turn. Uh, 41. No. Take a step to the side. 77. Nope. That's not worth it either. Uh, 95%. Where? Take him out. Totally worth it, I think. Not for the loss of the enemy morale, but just so that I don't have to worry about taking extra additional damage later. And your turn. Alright, so I've got him nearly half dead, so he's going to change weapons and he's no longer a tank this mission, he's a gunner. And I think that means he can no longer fire right now either, so that's fine. Um, got a shot available? I sure do. 77%, go for it. Good hit. And then dodge down. So the enemy's going to get a chance to move and then after him I get to go. Alright, this is perfect. I think that I'll be able to go in ambush stance. Let's see. As close to here as possible. And I'm hoping I'll be able to ambush him before he charges the A archer. New round has started. Alright, so another unseen enemy, and then this shaman. And I think this shaman character is not going to be able to do anything. Reload. Come over here on the side, you should easily fire. Okay, maybe not easily. I don't know why I say anything. 73%. I just need you to get enough points to reload once. Dang, I got so many people here. Uh, 37. It's still not enough. Uh, give me back two points. There we go, now you got three. One. Alright, now you still got one point left. Stay inside the circle. Alright, good. 73%. I should be able to reload. One point to reload? No. Okay. Uh, how much health does that thing have? Not enough. Okay, I'm gonna curse him with blinding light. Nice, so he's cursed his dodge, parry, chance to get. All those negative things are reduced by 5%, so it's going to be harder for him to do anything successfully. Get out of the way for my other archers. Alright, so he's casting a spell because he can't change weapons, reducing the strength of my character. So he's just basically going to try to keep reducing the strength of my characters, but he might curse himself. So careful. Yep, so he can't even attack. Man, Vin Solanus, that is an amazing ability. You literally just you're the worst person to fight against if you're an archer because you can't even change weapons against them all right charge that target out there or get charged Phew. all right return the favor 82 percent i think since i didn't charge i should get to attack twice yep out of action 
Alright, come up behind him so that he's gotta pass the all alone check. Alright, go for the kill. <laughs> Crusader strike again. Crusader's curse. Oh, that time it uh, missed, but he can't disengage, so. Perry stand. Alright, reload knight. And now we're gonna have to start worrying about where to go next, which is over here, which is where all the barrels are. Alright, so start getting up here. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, we can't travel very far at all over what. Reload, Mr. Hunter. Lower what? It takes so much of their strategic points to reload those rifles. Three points worth, that's, you know, a huge distance they could normally travel. It's okay. It's worth it. They can just shut these rats down so quickly. I mean, they literally just chopped them to pieces. Uh, I don't need any of these. I just need to figure out a way to get up there. I guess I can run around to the end of the docks. Alright, uh, Overwatch stand. Luther, reload. Right, let's go over here. I thought I saw a chance for you to shoot. Yep, 56%. You know, that's not too bad. You know? Oh well. Um. End of the turn. pretty injured so as long as we have two points here which we do not which we do can you shoot from there no give me back points you have two points from there can you not shoot him switch weapons then and ambush probably should just kept the pistols I just want to kill this thing more importantly, I want to get around this place, get up to the barrels are. I hate having, I don't want this mission to take forever. Alright, keep going. Ambush stance if anybody's dumb enough to come around that corner. Guardian Journal. A new round has started. Alright, so the enemy gets to go and unload one I haven't seen yet. All alone check failed, which means he probably should just, yeah, lose a turn. Okay, Inquisitor Ingram, keep moving. Get to the end here. Who are you shooting at? Him? 52%? I mean, why not, right? Nope. Should be able to reload and try again. Okay, maybe not. End your turn. Enemy gets to go. And there's the ramp up there. Malay's killed him. <laughs> One more time, come on. <laughs> well done. Boots. Nothing we need. Alright, now let's get out of here. Alright, let's go this way. There's a way up, but I'm just gonna run it. Come to the side here. Well, my characters with the heavy armor should run it, because they're gonna end up spending the whole time climbing and taking damage. Falling and taking damage, I should say. Alright, so, ambush stands. I know Vin Solanus has the improved movement range. I don't know if um, Malaise does or not. Alright, so Knight Berthold here. We're gonna switch him back to, to a sword and shield because he's got full health. We need to keep him yeah, being active. So we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump him up top. 65%. No, no. But I think the archers we can jump up, the other characters will run around. Overwatch stands. And the enemy gets to go, and then we go four times. Alright, Guardian Dieter, switch your weapons. You're already half health, so you can go back to Sword and Shield when, if it becomes necessary, but right now, too risky. Alright, let's go Hunter Meyer. Climb up this, bud. 65%. Well done. 
And there's some of that blasting powder, so overwatch stance. Uh, don't worry about reloading yet. Just keep running and running and running. What's your chance to climb? 83%? Oh my gosh. Wardstone on the left. And the turn. Yeah, you're gonna have to run around because your chance to climb is gonna be atrocious. Ambush stand. Yeah, we need to move as quickly as possible, but we can only move so fast with this heavy armor restricting our chance move. A and new round I would has love started. to have all my heavy armor characters with improved movement distance, but that is a lot of gold. Alright, let's go, Inquisitor. Get as far as you can with two points still. And the reason I want you to still have two points is you need to change weapons. You need to have a sword and shield out while you're running around like a like crazy person. Okay, so he gets ambushed, the shield will help a lot. Alright, Malays. Go up here. It's a shard, that's nice. Do I still have two blues? I'm trying to decide how much movement I have. Yep, switch your weapons as well. He's still not fully leveled up. I don't think he's even as high of level as um, the first leader I had. So. Amber Sans. Vin's becoming a real asset to this team. Like, I literally don't have to worry about him unless he's fighting two or three people. And I'm hoping that that will continue to be like that. Alright, Night Bertold, you need to go back and change your weapons. There we go. And then ambush stand. Man, these heavy warriors, they don't move very far at all, do they? But, uh, they're pretty critical. I need them. Built twice now. Poor Hunter Holzer. You gotta get up there, bud. I'm not gonna let you skip around it. 75% and you fell again. Dang. This is brutal. You may be good at shooting people, but you are terrible at climbing, my friend. Absolutely terrible. So let's see. I don't really see any enemies there, but it says that's where the blasting powder is, so I have a feeling that if I was to get up on this ledge, I could probably get good overwatch shots for quite a bit, but I want to keep him moving with us also, so... New objectives added. Objectives updated. Right, objectives updated. So Hunter Holzer added. has a blasting powder. So I want to keep that in mind so I remember who has what. And the characters with the most movement range are the ones that need to have the barrel. Um, Hunter Myers. I'm gonna have my heroes be the ones to pick up the barrels, I think. Just because of how, um, how much points I lose by, uh, scavenge this, 29 gold, nice. How many points I lose by reloading, it's ha almost half of my, over half my movement, it's totally possible, just to reload the gun. So if I move, then I won't be able to, do oh yes, that helmet, I need that so badly. Right, and overwatch. I'm not too worried about getting these guys up in a higher position. Reload. Simply because, um, yeah, he's definitely going to need to carry barrels. Because he can carry four of them. Objectives updated. I like his armor scheme, too. Alright, let's see here. It's a way up. Craziness. Overwatch. Crossbow you have is amazing. The fact that you can overwatch for only two points. Alright, keep coming around here, here, Dieter. Overwatch. I like the strategy I've developed. Well, I don't know if I actually developed it. I've kind of been thinking about it, but I'm sure other people have come up with that as well. Of having everyone use their ranged weapons first and then switch over to their melee as they engage other than a few dedicated characters that are just for taking hits and not doing damage. A new round has started. Alright, so there's three, four, five maybe 
potential enemy targets. Alright, so let's keep him moving. Uh, I should go back this way, because I think that there's some barrels in here that might have been missed. They might be upstairs. Alright, so I'm going to put him in an end turn. So Walt... Ben Solanus, you can travel relatively far. Alright, look at how far down that street you can see though. Still no enemy spotted. Gather 10 barrels, place 10 barrels at the sewer junctions. I don't see any like golden areas that are glowing. So they must be down there because that's where the um, Skaven is. So I'm sure there's quite a few barrels here. More than three. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. And we will put Finn, Solanus. Man, he can travel really far though, even in heavy armor. This is pretty, pretty happy what difference that makes. Uh, Van. So that's definitely going to be one of the sewer entrances there. So we're going to go ahead and put you in an ambush stance back here. No super rush, but you're kind of in a protective area. Alright, so the enemy gets to go again. Alright, Malays. Uh, you need to head back. Pick up some barrels. Ugh, maybe not. I just feel like this is so, so slow right here. Oh, you can go in here. Ah. Ah. Well, if we have to, go and overwatch up here. This is a great location. Keep moving. And ambush dance, I guess. But I have three barrels. I need to have ten, so I've got a ways to go. Alright, Hunter Holzer, go up top here. Alright, there's Objectives one. Up oh, oh gosh. Objectives updated. Objectives Look at updated. all that. Wow. Objective completed. Alright, uh, what's in here? 30 coins. It's a good amount of money. And I can't carry a barrel of blasting powder. Yeah, I'd rather have the barrel of blasting powder than the coins, to be honest. And I need 10. What about in here? There's, okay, 56 coins. That's a different story, though. Oh, okay. End my turn. So there's a lot of barrels up in here I gotta get. Um, another one of my archers. Yes. So, hey, you might as well go upstairs as well while you're here. And uh, get this farther one. Can you get around the corner? No. Huh. All kinds of crazy stuff here. Go back the way you were, and go to this barrel thing here, and, well, put the gold back. Can't take- Objectives updated. Man. That's annoying. Annoying to say the least. Alright, uh, get an overwatch there. Um, is your inventory full already? Nope, two out of four, and you can travel a tremendous distance. Right, there's Objectives one. updated. You should be able to get one more. Yep. Objectives updated. So he's got four. Both of the archers have one. And I think. Jeez, okay. Uh, go back downstairs. Oh no, don't go back down. Oh, can you get around the corner? Yes, you can. That works for me. Go on overwatch here. Very edge.
All right, I'm a guardian Dieter. Get up the stairs. And you're gonna block them? No, get Overwatch over there. I think you can get by, I hope. All right, uh, guardian Jerno, you're gonna stay around here. You're too slow to pick anything up. Still don't see any enemies, that's fine. Come down here, and yeah, A new round has started. Alright, I have six out of ten now. Alright, Mr. Wizard Man. Objective Seven updated. Okay, now is there another one here? There's no one here or not. Guess we'll find out, right? Yeah, then turn. Alright. I don't want to say anything out loud and jinx it, but I feel like I have gotten relatively lucky the last few turns with um, no enemies attacking me as I'm trying to collect these barrels. So Malaise is up there in a great overwatch. So we can put Vin here in his ambush stance. Go ahead and stay in overwatch. Alright, Knight, Bertold. Get over in here as well. Ambush stance. Hunter holes in. Can you carry the gold? Yeah, there's 56 gold. And you have one barrel on you. Okay. So, I mean, you can jump down, right? I don't know if that'll help me or not. Because there's no barrels below me. Yeah, that's where the archer is. I mean, where my wizard is. So I know there's no more barrels up top here. So I don't have to worry about that. I could jump you down over there. Or I could jump you down over here. Uh, so if there's only three barrels left, I really don't want to miss anyone. Wait, what? Locate Dwarven Blasting Power times ten. So I've located more than I have already. Okay, um, I think you have another slot that you can carry stuff. Overwatch it is. I guess I'm confused by the fact that it says I've located 10, but I only have 7. So I must have ran by some and didn't pick it up, and I don't believe that's true. Put you in Overwatch over here. Okay, so we got him, our uh, veteran here, person here. So what I need to start doing is heading south to get to the Skaven area. But. Now that I'm looking at the time, go ahead and go to ambush stance right here. Overwatch. Now that I'm looking at the time, this looks like it's going to be a really long uh, mission, so I think that this might be a good place for us to end. We found most of the barrels. It says we found 10 out of 10, but we've, we've picked up 7 of them. And so now we need to place the blasting powder at the sewer junctions. 
and then explore the sewer depths. So we're doing a really good job so far. I hope that if you enjoyed this episode, you will continue to watch the future ones and maybe even consider clicking subscribe or like. I hope to see you in the future ones, and thanks again. This is Malaise Gaming. Have a great day. Bye.